What is up everybody? My name is Tyler and today I am going to show you guys how to make some consistent gains in the market. So, a little about me. I'm 21, I'm going into my senior year of college. Um, I've been, inve been investing for about, I don't know, two or so years. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I've learned in those two years and basically explain what is the best strategy for making money um, and how to do it consistently. So there's a couple different ways. Obviously, you can hold shares of a company and you can let it grow. You know, that's basically traditional. There's the buying options um, where you buy calls and buy puts. And I've had my fair share at that. Um, and first it started off really well. And then in about June, I like lost about 20,000 doing it. Um, so I'm done doing that. I'm sticking to the strategy called selling cash secured puts and selling covered calls. So let me give you an example of what's in my portfolio right now, what I do. So Gilead, um, started doing this about two weeks ago. Uh, Gilead took a massive hit um, when one of their uh, FDA approval things did not get approved by the FDA, which they thought it was. So $69 stock and dropped right down to 65. It's a pretty big drop for them, especially for a big, you know, $100 billion uh, drug company. So I sold some puts on that last week, made about $200. Uh, I did it again this week and we've already collected 118. And when these expire worthless, um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I'll collect another 55. Worst case scenario, Gilead goes under 65. So it's at 65.06 right now. If it goes under 65, I buy shares of the company. So I have five of these puts, okay? So I'd buy 500 shares of Gilead at 65 exactly. And I'd keep whatever money that they gave me. Um, so I'm average of about 35 cents per. So technically, I'm getting it for a lot cheaper. Um, and then literally, if, I, if these get exercised to me, what I'll do is I'll literally go over here for the next week. I'll wait for an update and then I'll sell a call on it for 66 and pocket at least 52 per, probably a lot more on an update. And, you know, you talk five contracts with that and, you know, you're dealing with a decent amount of money, 260. So that's called running the wheel. That's a pretty safe strategy. So I do that on Gilead. Like I said, only done it for two weeks. American Airlines, I've been selling cash secured puts in American Airlines for a couple weeks and it's been working out really, really well. So um, last week I actually got assigned uh, 300 shares at 12 and a half. So then I took that. I waited for it to go up a little bit and then I sold some calls on it for 13. Unfortunately, I could have got a lot more. I did not expect American Airlines to go up like 13% one day. So we're going to be losing American Airlines at 13. Um, but we got paid for that. So I'm um, technically, I'm losing it at 13.25 because I got 25 cents per and I lose it at 13. So I'm losing it on 25 cents per of appreciation. But hey, I got paid to sell the put, I got paid to sell the call, and I make some money on appreciation. So that's basically called running the wheel. And I've been doing this strategy for about a month now. If we see in the past week, it's done pretty good, a little over 2%. In the past month, it's done really good. Um, and we're up almost five five grand from that. Um, I do want to show you guys the risks of doing the opposite, which is buying the calls. If you look at my three month, it is down a lot. We were doing really well, just about at $50,000 in the account. So I buying puts on things. I bought puts on DKNG, Boeing, thinking that the market would just take a crash. And I was right, but unfortunately I was too late. And that's the problem with options. It's all about timing. Um, and so I lost a fortune. I, my account dropped all the way down to, you know, super low, 31. I was down 17,000. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my cash secured puts. So I sell those puts and I sell those calls. And we've managed to make back $10,000 in the past two months from this. Um, and as you can see, you know, it's been doing pretty good for the year. We're up over 7k from the year. If you look at this, it's, you know, it's been rides, man. This is the whole, this is the whole buying calls thing. You know, it's, it's huge roller coasters up and down, you know? So I don't know. I'm, I'm on theta gang now. I don't want to switch back to it. I have a good strategy going and this is going to consistently make you money. You're not going to have these huge, huge days. Where you're making thousands and thousands of dollars, but you know what? You're gonna be making thousands and thousands a month, and that really adds up, you know. If I even continued to do this, like I said, even let's say that just round up to 5K, you know, you do that for 10 months, you made yourself $50,000. I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to continue 13%, but I can get pretty close to it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my thing, and I'm gonna show you guys some really good stocks to do it on. 
One of the biggest ones I do it on is this thing called TNA. And this is a small cap leverage ETF. And they give really good premiums for these. So what I'll do is I'll just go here. I'll wait for a down day, never doing an up day. Because uh, look, as you can see, these are down 17, 20% for the day. So if you wait for an update, you can get about another 40% on these. Um, and then you just sell. So I would literally go down. I like to give myself a couple dollars, like maybe $2 of appreciation and sell one for 33. If it's at about 35, collect 62 cents per. And I'd have to put up 3,300 in collateral in case I do have to pick those shares up. So you do need some money in your account. It's You're gonna need about a thousand at least to do this stuff like this. So you can find other small ones as well. Um, like American Airlines, you don't need much. You need 1350 if you're doing a 1350 caller, you know, 12, 1200, stuff like that. Because a contract's always 100 shares. So, guys, that's really what I've been doing. And I'm telling you right now, it's a safe way to go and it's a great way to make some consistent gains. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be starting to make a lot of videos because I want to help people out. And I think it's fun. I think it's fun to get involved in the community and see what everyone else is doing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for your plays. I'm, I'm excited to see what other people are doing with their money. I know what I'm doing with mine and it's working out pretty well, guys. We're, we're up and we're going to stay up by doing this consistent strategy. So, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys like. And if you want to see more videos, I mean, I would love to make some, but hopefully people want to see them. So you guys let me know, subscribe and I'll let you know.